Hi there and uh, welcome to another video. Today I have another challenge and I'm working on a basin. So what's happened is that the basin um, <coughs> is leaking from the bottom and um, we have um, this section here that has got um, dots and it's kind of corroded right now and basically there is another section to this which I've obviously worked on so that, that actually has I've taken that off which is another piece of pipe and we're going to re replace it with a new one <coughs> should be a simple task but never is but so opening was a bit of a mission so finally got it opened so you take this out and um, I thought the second one I bought would be identical which pretty much is identical if you look at it here but uh, the, si the holes are different sizes clearly I uh, di didn't realize so I thought oh, no big deal we should be able to put it in um, so I've taken off the previous um, section here that's come off right now the difference I'm experiencing right now is in the uh, the pipe itself so we've got um, so here we've got the slightly smaller, I think it's a 40 mil maybe, and the one that can look at the 42, which is this one here. So as you see here, they're two different sizes. This one actually goes into the um, the other one quite easily. So I'm going to cut this, so just in the process of cutting it. Once this is cut, just using a hacksaw to cut these pieces off. And then the pipe actually is quite, quite good that the grommet that we're using here, the reducer. Uh, so say for example, you see the, the pipe comes up there and you, you know you can't really put a normal pipe in there. There you go, that's just not going to work. So you use a, a reducer, so it can take a 40 or a 42 mil pipe by the looks of it. I've got this right. Um, so yeah, let's push this in into that. Pretty simple. Once that goes in, there we are. That's all in. There we are. So that's that section is all secured now. So that's all in. And all we now need to do is. Um, Place this piece in here. Make sure we secure this from the top. But um, I wouldn't do that right now because I'm going to be cutting the pipe, which is the uh, extended version they've given me. So once that's cut, I'm going to push this in and see how it goes. So um, let me get this thing cutting. Just, just using a straight miter box and a hack saw to cut the pipe. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'll try this hopefully. It should be okay. So let's see if we can do this. I probably don't want to take them out right now because I've got some other ones lying around the garage. So it should be straightforward. Thank you. 
Right, so the pipe's been now cut to a certain length. Let's get this miter box out of the way. Got sharp bits. And it's going to go in here. Let's see if we can get this pipe installed. This is something you can do at home to be honest, you don't need to call a plumber for little, little things like this. You just pop the washer on there, make sure the ring actually goes on top of it. And the good thing is you can actually secure it to the required length, tighten it. can all be done by hand to be honest, you don't really need their um, tools. Hopefully that should go on to that and that would be there. So let's see if we can do this now. Right, that would go in there, that would go in there. Good, so you know how it works. So what we do is we loosen the top bit, which I put in obviously. That piece will come out as well. That will give us Pop this in there. Washers are very important when it comes to pipe work. No washer and that's it. You will have leaks. And you will not have a clue why its water is leaking because you tighten it to the max, but it's the washers that actually do the do the trick. So let's see if we can tighten it. I find plumbing is one of the most awkward professions. You can't get to places that easy, especially when it comes to basins. A mission these are, absolute mission. I hate doing basins. It's just like one of those things. Sometimes you can't help it. You don't wanna sort of wait for a plumber and an appointment and then it turns up with some kind of a story of what's wrong with it and stuff. Something sort of basic stuff. It's now loose. I can feel something's loose. Right, okay. So that needs tightening as well. Right, it looks like. because the only washer they've given me is that little one there. That's the other thing, you try to 
fit a lot of the times these parts and they come with you know they some with instructions, some with no instructions. And you think, well, you know what? That looks pretty straightforward, I can do this. You get your spanners out. And you think, oh well. Right, here we go. It's the washer didn't go in properly again. Right, one more thing while we're at it is that the the ring cap that came with it. Here we go. That that also goes in. It's just an aesthetic thing, just to make it look nice once it's all in. Kind of covers that grommet that we've got there. So we push that in all the way. There we go. There we are. So all it does, it makes it look a bit pretty, that's all. Nothing else. Right, so the problem we were having is that this washer, as you can see inside, kind of slipped in rather than being in place. Good old plumbing, eh? Nothing works according to plan. Water is one of those things that even the slightest leak would just, it can cause a flood sometimes if you, uh, if you don't capture it on time. So you've got a little leak, you go on holiday, you come back and you find a massive puddle. The leak wasn't that much, but it's the time that took to actually uh, create the puddle. But anyway, let's see if we can I don't like to um, sort of, you know, do videos of um, demoing and stuff. I'd rather do the real thing, so don't forget the gloves. Let's do the real fingers now because I thought gloves would be a good way of helping, but clearly didn't. Thing is, this basin is made of. Um, you know, it's metal and stuff, and it's kind of, it's got some sharp edges, so... That's the thing. I can feel it a bit better this time. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that going in. Another washer. Do this one here. This one's again. Uh, the key thing is washers. Once you're working on waters, remember you must learn that washers are the key to everything. Let's put my gloves back on because I can see that the uh, the fixtures have gone in. I managed to get a bit thicker gloss with these ones. Gloves is always good to wear when you're working because it kind of gives you an extra sort of strength in your in your work. If you try using fingers, then you know you're just gonna either damage them or just wear out. Where you can use fingers, you do, and but you can use gloss. So there you go. That's um, I haven't used any PTFE tape or anything right now. So that, that the washes are good as rubber gloves are good because that's uh, here we go. It seems pretty solid now. So let's. Let's test it out. Let's see. Ah, voila. What do you know? Is there water? Observation tap. It's all going through. So we've just supported this piece here. There's a washer, rubber washer up there, another rubber washer there. There's no washer on this end, just a rubber grommet. 
that's a reducer pushed it in there and pretty much hand tightened everything it's good as gold now if you're opening an older one chances are that you're going to use some spanners and pliers and stuff so be prepared for that but once you've cleaned up everything and you've got the right sizes and everything just uh, just use your hands and it should be good as I mean it's always good to use sometimes these uh, the PTFE tapes if you know if it's not tightening or if there is some kind of a you know a minor drippage here and there that so kind of gives that extra layer of protection and um, there's other um, you know liquid types of paste you can get to put it on but I ain't no plumber so uh, I just do all the jobs that I need to do so um, this is another job done I think it's quite good I hope it helped someone because uh, the thing that really confuses a lot of people is that oh this is big pipe that's a small pipe what do you do well um, the producer is quite important on the other side just get one of those but uh, thanks for watching until next time Bye for now.